He's trying to pull him down and does. And 99 has been terrific all day long. Ask most sports fans in Canada about the famous number 99 named Wayne. And this is not the guy they're thinking about. A six-year veteran of the CFL, Wayne Weathers is one of the most dominant defensive ends in the league. Third and goal, and Allen will carry and not get there. Stopped at the two. Wayne the Weathers made sure the door was shut. It's probably one of the deepest and most intellectual games you can, you can play. And it's such a team sport. Everyone's got to function on that particular game day to make sure you win that game. He learned to play and love football under his high school coach, Craig Mathy. Hey, Wayne. How you doing, good coach? Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, too. I haven't seen you in a while, buddy. Yeah. I played for the GL Roberts Lakers uh, football team. Um, as it turns out, I was a quarterback, which probably shows you the caliber of a uh, team we were. And while his early skills on the gridiron were a little unimpressive, his ability on the wrestling mat was obvious even then. If I remember correctly, you're one an Ontario championship in every age group. Yeah, I won a nationals every age group, except for uh, except for midget. Well, I'll show you your uh, picture. We put you in the uh, Roberts Hall of Fame. It's a long road from high school glory days to making it big in the CFL, but Wayne Weathers is still not done. With football season over, he's tackling a goal of a different kind: to be the best heavyweight wrestler in Canada. Most people know me as a football player than a wrestler because it's, it's more well known, you know, I get on TV for things like that. But um, wrestling's taught me probably more about myself. But Weathers has some unfinished business. An alternate in the 96 Olympics, he had won the Olympic trials in 2000 when he dislocated his ankle. Sydney was suddenly out of the question. It kind of broke me down because at the time I was ready to go because 96 was such a setback for me. And it's not like, um, a world championship or a Super Bowl or a great cup where it's every year. This is once every four years you get your chance to shine. So I was, it was a, quite a setback for me. And so it comes down to today, his one shot to set it right. The thing about the Olympics trials is people come out of the woodwork. Like people who unwrestle for five, six years, they know what's the chance, you know, throw your hat in the ring and uh, take a chance to, to go to the Olympics. I will win the trial. You have to have a very good day and I have to have a bad day in order for you to beat me on that particular time. I have a mentality that it's basically win or go home. But even this time, even if he wins, there's still a catch. We didn't win the trials and then I'm gonna have some thinking to do because I have, uh, I'm still under contract with the Toronto Argonauts and um, they're gonna expect that I'll be there to play football for them. It's tough, you know. Um, I've won, I won three or four senior national championships. I've won the national championships in every age group and for university. And to not make that jump to actually make it to an Olympics, that feels like an unfinished chapter in my life, in my career, as far as that's concerned. Evanson, the freestyle wrestling Olympic trials, ready for the 120K event, the big boys. Canadian champion Wayne Weathers going against Colby Bell. Weathers in the red, Colby Bell in the blue. And Weathers won the first of this best of three, five to one. And as you know, if you've been watching the whole show, Wayne Weathers is a defensive end for the Toronto Argonauts. And we were just discussing it before we uh, came on the air that Weathers really is a football player who wrestles part time, but he's such a big physical specimen. He wrestled obviously at the University of Manitoba, but no one has been able to dethrone him. But he's so talented, you know, and, he, and he's very, very strong, like you were talking about. He's very good positioning, and, uh, you know, when you have those co that kind of a combination, you're a tough guy to beat. First match won by Wayne Weathers. Incidentally, we've had a lot of heavyweight champions in Canada who have been football players. We had Bob Molly, who played for the Bombers for a number of years. He was a silver medalist in 1984. Dan Payne, who was an uh, Olympian in 1988, currently plays for the BC Lions, and, and now Wayne Weathers playing for the Argonauts. So the good wrestlers make good football players, or vice versa? Well, I think it's good wrestlers make good football players. <laughs> Must be. Of course, if Wayne Weathers wins here, he'll have to go and qualify at the qualifying tournaments in March to try to get to the Olympics. Because not only do you have to qualify as the best Canadian, you'd also have to qualify Canada for the Olympics. And if that were to happen, if he were to qualify for the Olympics, he would have to interrupt his football season next year in the CFL to attend in Athens.
I wouldn't think uh, playing professional football is great preparation for an Olympic <laughs> wrestling uh, competition. Well, hopefully he'll be able to fit in some training uh, in there. So Wayne Weathers in red, Colby Bell in blue. Bell wrestles out of Edmondson for the Bears Wrestling Club. U of A, so you'd have to think there should be a lot of people here who are cheering for him, and he just couldn't quit, quite get that one to go. Well, and that's an example of the strength and talent we were talking about with Weathers. You know, Bell had him in trouble, and Weathers was able to, to maintain that position, counter the gut wrench, and end up scoring two points in the process. Weathers played for Winnipeg for five seasons last year in Toronto. Here you see Bell, he's got it nice and tight, nice and strong. Weather's able to grab down there, keep the, the, the hip position here is what's most important. He didn't let his hips get over, he kept the hips flat the whole process and was able to counter. Weather's six foot four, 255 pounds. Not much of that is fat. <laughs> Well, and the weight class is 120 kilograms. That means you have to be under 120 kilograms. Over the years, it's gone from unlimited to 130 kilograms, now 120 seconds. kilograms. So as a result, what you see are great athletes. Both of these guys, they're great athletes. They're strong. You don't see the sumo-type wrestlers there here going out of bounds. Bell just a little bit sloppy. It looks like he caught something. Hard to tell if he was injured before he went out of bounds or as they were going out of bounds. See his coach, Vang Ionides, who coaches the University of Alberta wrestling team, going over to see how he is, getting some attendance there from the uh, medical staff. And the officials are checking the video replay on this too to see if it was one point or three points. We see the action starting. Hard to tell from that angle, it looked like uh, Colby smacked his forehead on the mat as they were going out of bounds. Hard to tell if his back was exposed before his knee touched or not. Colby's been around a long time, 32 years of age. He's a 1996 Olympian and Greco-Roman. He's a seven-time Greco-Roman national champion. Here, see from another angle, he's just got his head kind of stuck underneath there. Goes out of bounds, hits his head first, going out of bounds. And Wayne Weathers picks up two points on that, so he now has a 4-0 lead. And Colby Bell will start in the referee's position. Well, the points were scored as they were going out of bounds, so they give Weathers the opportunity coming back to the center to try to turn Bell again. And Weathers started a little early there, so they restarted. Being a big tall man too, you'd think you'd have the advantage of some leverage. There's Colby Bell's no slouch either. Can't make anything happen down there, so we'll call him back up. 16 seconds to go here in the first period. <laughs> Weathers bouncing like a boxer. Is he Wayne Weathers or Carl Weathers? Seconds ticking down, nothing happening, and that's it. First period ends with Weathers ahead, four to nothing. The funny thing about Weathers is he often looks like he's not even trying, and he, he's so calm and, and matter of fact the way he approaches it. Well, and, and that calmness and that confidence uh, showed through on the counter when he scored two points when uh, Colby Bell was trying to gut rich. Kept his composure, kept cool. Didn't, didn't worry about uh, about what Bell had, but he just focused on what he had to do, keeping his hips flat, and uh, was successful in countering that move. He went to the uh, Pan American Games this year, finished in uh, fifth place. In 99, he won a, a Pan Am bronze medal uh, in Winnipeg, and that would have been when he was uh, playing with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, so I'm pretty sure that was pretty popular with the, uh, the fans there. Well, for sure. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a, a huge fan favorite there. Wayne Weathers out in front of the four. So Weathers, four nothing lead here he as they the go into the second period of this one. match. Remember, Weathers won the first match of this best of three. So if he can hold on to this, he will get the victory. Again, that's where you're talking about the leverage. He used that, that long, strong leg. To, uh, to pop Bell off of his strong position. Colby Bell was in nice and tight on that leg, but Weathers used his positioning to pop him off balance, loosen the grip, and get out of the, the danger position. 
I imagine these two men would have met uh, frequently in the uh, CIAUs when they were both going to university. So I'm betting they know each other quite well. At the CIAU championships, at the National Senior Wrestling Championships, yeah, they, they, they've wrestled a lot. Bell going for the, trying to shoot through to the leg, couldn't get down through. Well, and, and Weathers is, is, uh, has been very effective here in neutralizing Bell's offense, but he's got to be careful because if he's too defensive here, he's going to be called for passivity. You saw him holding Bell's wrist. You can only do that for so long before the referees say you're stalling. Well, the referee indicating first he was going to give a point, but uh, looks like the the well, officials on the side disagree. On that attack, as Weathers came in, he hit Bell in the forehead and the nose, and what the referees were saying was Bell should have made more of an effort to stay in bounds. He went out of bounds. One more match well, the reason he went out of bounds was because he got headbutted as he was making that shot. So far, we have four matches. It's gone down the wire and he, uh, for the match. Here we see the attempt. Weathers going to shoot in here. Smacks Whoa. him right in the, One of those right in the nose. Someone and he might have broke it. Because when, when the... Uh, the attendant touched it, he really was smarting. Ah, he's gonna go anyway. Broken nose or not. Less than two minutes to go. Weathers with a four-nothing lead. Kobe Bell's tried to make things happen here. He's, he's shot through, tried for the leg takedowns, but you know, it's so hard to get in on Weathers. And he's so strong. Bell needs to move Weathers a lot more. He's making a lot of attacks from a stationary position. You want to move your opponent off balance and, and shoot off that movement so that they're, on a, uh, they're not in a stable, strong position. A lot of hand-holding going on in this match. Well, and like we were talking about, he's going to get penalized probably if he keeps holding on to that wrist because that's a real defensive maneuver. Good throw by Weathers. Three balls. And there's that leverage you were talking about again, too. Three points on that throw. Seven nothing lead now. Well, it just looks like Wayne Weathers has too much for Colby on this day. Another point. Eight nothing lead now for Weathers. Now he just sits and waits. <laughs> Not much of a ground wrestler, but here we see Bell. I mean, he, he's been trying to take some chances. Here we see Weathers with the, the wizard throw. He gets his hip in there, grabs the forearm, pops him over onto his back for three points. Now Bell in good position. He can get around, and he does. It's a single point. Well, at least he won't get shut out. And Weathers not wanting to take any chances by putting himself in a bad position and countering. Bell beat him in on the shot, got it nice and deep, so Weathers just... Acts more conservatively, gives the point up. Runs a bit more time off that clock. And they go to a stalemate down there, so they come back up. Center red. Center red. Referee calling to the center. 10 seconds to go, an 8-1 lead. It's pretty much all over. Weathers dancing away from Colby Bell, tries to get him around him. Five seconds to go. Colby can't get the dive as they get down to gentlemen, zero. Weathers dances with the victory. And they shake hands. Wayne, Wayne Weathers not really with much trouble here winning the heavyweight bout. 120 kilo class. And he will try to advance now to the Olympics. So Wayne Weathers with the victory here, but there is more to come from the Canadian Freestyle Wrestling Olympic Trials in Sherwood Park, Alberta, near Edmonton. We'll be right back. Back at Millennium Place in Sherwood Park, Alberta, the Canadian Olympic Wrestling Trials. Wayne Weathers has got a shot at the Olympic Games in Athens, Greece, with a big victory over Colby Bell. Uh, tell us about the win and your progress toward those games and qualification, Wayne. I mean, as far as the win goes, uh, 
I didn't have a lot of wrestling time after football season was over. That first match I had against him, I just trying to fill him out, see what I could do, get the rust off. And this match just went for it. I know this is a little bit of a bugbear for you because you were close last time around winning the Canadian trials and then had some trouble at the uh, world trials to get to the Olympic Games. You're a bit of an unknown quantity internationally. Uh, what do you feel about this time and maybe making the grade? You know what? I'm not really worried about Olympic Games right now. What I'm worried about right now, I just won the trials. It's my football season next year with the Toronto Argonauts. That's all I'm really worried about. This is secondary. Is, is it at all a concern that if you did make the Olympic Games, uh, that might interrupt your football season? I'm not even thinking about that right now. I'm just going to enjoy this right now and focus on the next thing. Great victory, Wayne. Good luck to you. Thank you. Wayne Weathers of Toronto, Ontario, the super heavyweight here, and still has a shot at the Athens Olympics. We'll continue on Sports Saturday from Spruce in a minute.